Morning guys, it's a, a lovely sunny Thursday morning here in Yorkshire in Wakefield. Um, I'm um, very excited today um, as I am one step closer to being a bit more free with regards to how um, how mobile I am um, with my work. And here it is. Check it out. I'll tell you why I'm uh, super excited about today is I'm, I've been wanting a new laptop for ages. I want to be a bit more mobile. If you've seen some of my older vlogs, you'll know that I'm trying to get myself away from sort of a fixed working sort of situation. I love my iMac. It is the best thing I've ever bought, really. It's fantastic. It's the best piece of equipment I've ever had. Um, so I was looking to buy another, uh, looking to buy a MacBook Pro or something that was more powerful that could like do all the, the software programs that I could use. And I was nearly, nearly like this close from bidding on eBay um, and, and parting with my eight, 900 quid on a second hand MacBook Pro. And then uh, I remembered I had a MacBook from 2009. So anyway, I dug it out. And the reason why it was in the way is because at some point, and Mia had decided that sticking stickers all over it was a good idea. Um, and also, the back was a bit flappy. The rubber rubber base was a bit flappy, flapping off. So I phoned Apple and I said, look, you did a, they did a replacement program because they knew that some of these would be effective. And um, this is the uh, MacBook 6.1 uh, with the dual core duo, uh, 2.0. 2.32 or 2.6 megahertz chip. So it's all right, but it comes spec with only like two gig of RAM and, and a 250 gig hard disk drive. So um, it's not very not very powerful. Uh, well, it was then, but not now. Um, so I was looking online. Anyway, well, I phoned Apple and I said, look, you guys are doing a replacement program. Can I get one? And they said, basically, uh, it's... You know, that was in 2009, and we only offer it for, for like four years afterwards. So, uh, no. So whilst I was on the phone to them, I had the idea of ripping the back off, which I did here. And the bit that was off already wouldn't actually glue back. This is the glue. You can see that? That's the glue. Um, it wouldn't stick back down, so I thought, you know, I'll rip it off. And then I um, stuck gaffer tape on it, and it looked great. So, and that's and that's when I decided, you know what, I'm going to uh, I'm going to order all the bits. So, what I've done to increase the speed, I have bought a Samsung um, SSD 580 Evo. Um, Solid state, 500 gig, to replace the moving component inside. And I'm gonna replace the two gig of RAM with some um, computer bay, eight gig. Uh, they said that eight gigs maximum, but I'm gonna try this eight gig, and then if it's, if it's not enough, um, if when I swap out the, the, the memory in the iMac, I might put more RAM in here. And because this battery was so, the reason why we stopped using it was, or I stopped using it, was the fact that the battery used to last like half an hour, an hour maximum. That and the back had flapped off and it was mucky and it was just a little bit chuggish and it couldn't run Photoshop anymore properly and without, you know, without you slitting your wrists. So I bought a new battery. New battery uh, from... Uh, Flareon, 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 um, and these are rated um, quite high uh, with the added um, energy efficiency of the SSD, um, and these apparently give up to um, yeah, these are 67 watt hours. So you know, it's not bad. So I should get definite improvement 
in quality um, and, and sort of longevity uh, whilst using this. So the next step is uh, putting it together. I'm not going to bore you with details. I, something that I've already done is, oh yeah, this hard drive guy has sent a set of uh, little um, Torx, uh, Torx T3 and a um, small two millimeter screwdriver Phillips head um, to take everything apart, which is quite handy because um, the screws are quite delicate. But uh, I won't bore you with detail, but what I have done already is I've created a boot drive, uh, a boot disc already on an external hard drive back there um, so that when I put the SSD in, I can boot off the external disc, install uh, El Capitan straight onto the SSD and then away we go. So uh, without further ado, um, let's dive in. Essentially what I want to do here is um, do some bench testing before the upgrades. So here I start it off from boot, I want it to boot and play a song on iTunes straight away. Sped it up a bit. Da -da -da. iTunes is playing and the song plays 4 minutes 34 seconds. So let's get into it. First, we need to take the back off. There you go. And then this is what I'm going to do. Hard drive is going. RAM is going. Battery is going. And I'm going to replace it with an SSD. 8 gig of RAM, a new battery, and as an added bonus, I'm going to add uh, the existing hard drive into a caddy that fits in where the optical drive is. So uh, let's begin. First, disconnect the battery, then take out the existing hard drive. Then unscrew all the bolts for the battery. The battery comes out, and then we'll just pop the RAM out, which is fairly quick. The next tricky bit was to work out how the caddy comes out. So looking online, looking at pictures, uh, lifting up a few cables, undoing loads of like weird bolts and hidden things, do your research kids. Um, I managed to get the caddy out. Um, then next step is to fit the existing hard drive into the caddy. Um, fitting it all in, redoing all the bolts uh, in the reverse order in which you did it, which was fun because the Apple hired a couple of cheeky ones, connect the cables in again. Um, then this took longer than expected. Then we're going to fit in the RAM, which pops straight in. Then the battery goes in doing all the bolts in reverse order to what uh, you took it out. After that, we're going to put the new external hard drive in, the new hard drive in, sorry, and then we are done. Time to test the uh, bench test, and it does it in 43 seconds. Right, oh, hold on. How's that for continuity? Um, I hope you found this vlog informative um, and I'm really impressed now that I've got my MacBook up and running. This is part one of a two-stage process. Um, because my ego is um, a little bit on the it's not a MacBook Pro, I'm going to be customizing the case of this uh, and that'll be in a, a second part. So if you found it uh, informative, um, give me a thumbs up or if you found it a bit crap, then give me a thumbs down, it's all good. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. Um, and don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more of this and more of things to do with design and technical stuff. So uh, yeah, peace out and uh, stay safe and don't forget to love each other.